Republican Governor Mike Parson holding a news conference Thursday to say his administration would be taking a St. Louis newspaper to court. He says a reporter hacked the state's Department of Education. The paper says the reporter simply exposed a flaw in the state's website and the information was at least 100,000 Missouri teachers' social security numbers. Here's KQ2's Mount McLean with more. In a six-minute news conference, Governor Mike Parson packed a punch. The target is St. Louis newspaper he accuses of hacking the state website. This matter is a serious matter. The state is committing to bring to justice anyone who hacked our system and anyone who aided or encouraged them to do so. According to the paper, they exposed a serious security issue and acted responsibly. According to the governor, This individual is not a victim. They were acting against a state agency to compromise teachers' personal information in an attempt to embarrass the state and sell headlines for their news outlet. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch says one of their reporters found a security flaw on the state's Department of Education website that allowed the public to access thousands of teachers' social security numbers through the HTML. The paper and reporter told the state and then held off publishing an article on the security issues so the state could fix it first. Now, about four minutes into the conference, the governor admitted the state is somewhat responsible. We are working to strengthen our security to prevent this incident from happening again. The state is owning its part, and we are addressing areas in which we need to do better. Before circling back to his original point, that the real culprits were the paper and the reporter, and the state was going to take them to court. We will not let this crime against Missouri teachers go unpunished. And we refuse to let them be a pawn in the news outlet's political vendetta. While the jury is still out on whether a civil or criminal case based on these facts will work, the court of public opinion is heavily siding with the Post-Dispatch on Twitter. Here's what most people are tweeting. Why are social security numbers in the HTML code? Your developers committed a massive security violation. You should be thanking the reporter who brought this to your attention. This was not a hack. It was an extraordinary simple reveal of public data exposed by a profoundly bad implemented system. And they told Desi about the problem ahead of time. Classic hacker behavior. Reporting, Madeline McLean, KQ2 News. According to Governor Parson, the state immediately pulled the site down and is working on contacting teachers who may have been affected. The administration did not say how long the data was available in HTML format.